short video with some Sculptris Pro tips. Now in this video I want to share with you my preferred way of working with Sculptris Pro. So if I go to Polyframe you see that I have a mesh that I started from Dynamesh and along the way I started using Sculptis Pro but over here I've integrated it in my UI you see that it's not activated so for the most part I like to work without Sculptis Pro why? well first of all if I make a selection like that and hide all the rest and turn on Sculptis Pro and go for instance to my clay tubes brush and start sculpting on this then I get a message the mesh is partially hidden Sculptris mode is disabled so you can't work with Sculptris like that furthermore if I want for instance to work on the ear and I'm going to turn Sculptris Pro back on and going to go to my if I can get there back face mask so turn on back face mask if I, for instance, sculpt right here, like that, and go to Sculptris Pro, you see that it's grayed out. So, again, this brush has auto maskings activated and therefore cannot make use of the Sculptris Pro mode. So, skip note, and then turn this back off. So, for the most part, I like to turn off Sculptris Pro and then when I turn on back face mask of course that's regular sculpting I don't interfere with the geometry on the other side so how do I like to use Sculptris Pro well simply by adding geometry where I need it and then I turn on Sculptris Pro so for instance if I want to add some horns over here and I'm not using Sculptis Pro at this time I'm simply extracting this so if I go to Polyframe you see that now this mesh is completely distorted the polygon distribution is not well at all so in that case I'm turn off back face mask because it's still on it has to be off in order to use Sculptis Pro so now I can turn on Sculptis Pro I press the shift key for my smooth brush press the space bar and set my Z intensity all the way to zero and now I can add geometry like that and turn off Sculptis Pro again now as you can see I don't have adaptive size on I do have combined on so that my polygon distribution will work with the smooth brush so combined is on but adaptive size is off because I like to control how big my polygons are with the subdivide size so right now it's 0.6 if I set this for instance to 0.1 I will get a much higher density of course that's not needed when starting out or when you don't need that much detail so for that part 2.6 and when I've added those polygons over there and want to further refine my shape then I turn off Sculptris Pro again and now I'm back to regular sculpting with all the benefits that I have so I can hide this portion if I want to and I can sculpt on it with my brushes without problem Furthermore, another good reason to turn on Sculptis Pro is that I've experienced that uh, zebras can a bit be crashy if you uh, turn uh, off or have uh, Sculptis Pro mode on all the time, especially with adaptive size. So if you turn on adaptive size and then of course your geometry or the density of your geometry is controlled by your brush and then you quickly get an enormous amount of detail and an enormous amount of polygons and that's usually not even necessary and usually it makes things a lot harder so that's my preferred way of using Sculptris Pro so I turn off adaptive size if I make a large change 
like over here, then I turn it on, I use my smooth brush as it's the Z intensity all the way to zero. I set my subdivide size to the level I want it, and sometimes if I say no, that's not enough or it's too high for my initial shape, then I do Ctrl Z and set this for instance to 1, and now I have bigger polygons. Okay, just like that, and of course I can also do take away geometry if I don't want it over there. So if I don't want it to be that dense, I can take it away. And if I'm happy with that resolution at this stage, I turn off Sculptris Pro and continue working with my regular brushes. And again, if I make, I'm now working with the snake hook brush. If I distort my polygons really like that, again, turn on Sculptris Pro, go to a smooth brush, it's still at zero, and simply add geometry. And it has become my preferred way of working over Dynamish. Why? Because once you've added details like in the eyes, here the mesh is a bit denser, then if I dynamish, I have to go to a really high subdivision and then again your polygon count may go up very fast and it might take a while before it's redynamished each time. And with Sculptris Pro, that's, it's not necessary. So now of course with my Sculptris Pro mode off, I can turn back on my Z intensity for my smooth brush. Just like that. So that is something that I wanted to share in this video, that for the most part I don't use Sculptris Pro, I only turn it on when I make an extrusion or when I want to actually have higher polygon count in certain areas so that I can sculpt finer details, then I turn it on and I don't turn on adaptive size, I control the adaptive size via the subdivide size slider so that I can very accurately create the amount of detail that I need and then turn it off again and sculpt on it with the regular brushes so that I can make selections like that or use backface masking or other masking that lets me use the brushes without error when you have sculptures like when you have sculptures pro mode on so i hope you found this useful